My character's name was Finnegan Cullinan. He was from Ireland. I chose a character from Ireland because my family also came from Ireland. I chose an immigrant factory worker because I thought they were the most affected by the depression, giving me more information to write about. Okay. How did you choose your storyline and prompts? I chose my storyline based on what the prompts were asking, while incorporating the information needed for those years during the Great Depression and World War II. How did you overcome any challenges that you have encountered? I overcame challenges by trying my best to touch on the prompt questions while not going off topic what my main subject was. What did you enjoy about this project? What I enjoyed about this project was being able to create a whole new identity and making the whole life based off of what occurred during that time period. My favorite journal prompt was journal number three because I was able to make a whole life based off of my family's heritage. Journal number three states, today is January 5th, 1924. Update on my work status. I am still working in the factory putting knobs on dressers for half the day and the other half making ads. I haven't gotten the promotion I wanted working in an office. I still am making 12 cents an hour in a hot and cramped factory. Like I said in my first journal entry, I never imagined my life being so unaccomplished and slow. Back in Ireland, I used to be a potato farmer. I was the best farmer in Killarney, Ireland. I used to grow around 65,000 tons of potatoes a year. I was known for a sweeter potato. I loved farming during the early morning in Ireland. The sun would rise a pink color that I could never describe. I generally farmed for around four hours in the morning and three hours in the afternoon. But sadly, potato farming in Ireland started to go down. I started to lose business and the demand for potatoes wasn't needed. As a result, I had a huge supply of potatoes that just rotted from sitting in the warehouse for so long. After business slowed down, I wasn't making enough money to pay for my farm and I had to sell it and my house. I lived with my mother, Catherine, for the next six months until she passed away and I had to sell her house. I had nowhere to go, so I decided to leave for America, thus leaving me where I am today.